right, Mopar people. Mopar Joe back with you. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick run over about the Roadrunner and just kind of give you a little backstory on it. Let's check it out. Setting in the old Roadrunner here, I was gonna show you a few things and talk about it real quick. Pretty cool car. Uh, this is a 72 model. Um, you'll see it's got white face gauges. He actually said, the owner, um, he didn't want white face gauges. He doesn't know why the company uh, or the people that he was paying to build this did that. Uh, several things with the car. And basically my job's gonna be to get the car back um, as close as I can to factory and what is correct. Example, this here shifter. There's a lot of folks out there that think it's hot stuff, but um, currently it's out of adjustment to the point of if you got it all the way, if you got it in park, the car still rolls. So that's no good. He actually, I believe they got a T-handle for it. Um, for the slapstick, and I'll put that back in. That's one little thing. Um, other things, uh, for this mirror, the mirror has cables. And those cables, I believe he said one of them is messed up. So it... It barely, barely moves the mirror, doesn't do it right. So I can lose it. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, they got all new wiring harnesses, looks like from uh, what M and H. Uh, so good stuff, but there's some stuff that was purchased um, that's just not going to work. They got, they got the classic auto air. Uh, if you see on this side, uh, that blue ECU right there, you can buy at O'Reilly's. They sell them for like 14 bucks or something. They are truly junk. I told him I'm not even going to try to start this car with that on there. So I'm, I'm going to get a new one of those bought. Um, they make an orange box, um, which I've found out, you know, in the last few years, the new orange boxes, they sell some cheap knockoffs that are crap. Try to find the one that has like the Mopar performance sticker like that voltage regulator does. That's a good voltage regulator. If you bought the, the part store brand of that, you know, you may be charging at 15 volts. So having that black one's a good idea. I'm gonna get him that, that correct ECU. Um, basically with this car, I mean, he wants it. It's never been fired before. Motor's been put in about a year ago. It's a 383. Um, so I've got a new distributor for it to throw in. I'm gonna curve that distributor before it goes in. Uh, small things, but it's, it's the, the, the devil's in the details kind of deal here. So he's got a, uh, a new rally dash to go in it and that'll get that fixed up. I believe that's our choke cable or if not a choke cable, it's the, yeah, the AC cable. So that stuff's not hooked up. You know, he, just a little, little things, you know, get the car back right, going. Uh, let's see. This is actually for the steering column. I'm not sure if it actually needs that or not. I'll check it out. Uh, most of these, when you buy them, are junk. Uh, but you'll get a good one every so often. That Excel coil I may use. Uh, he's got his breather. The car was B5 blue. There's some of the paint left over. Uh, yeah, blue fire, bright blue, metallic. Uh, yeah, there's our B5 right there. That's it. The fuel canister, I got to get that out cleaned up. Uh, to go, he got a new tank that has all those fittings. So getting it hooked up correctly. Um, show you here. This sucker is shackled up to the moon, and I'm, I'm gonna call him back and check, but I believe he's gonna let me bring it back down, <laughs> lower it back, got the good eight, eight and three quarter. It's got a sure grip of some kind in it. See their gas lines just hanging down. None of that's been hooked up. Um, got good aftermarket exhaust. Uh, transmission was redone with shift kit and all that. It's got the good tips, which I'm glad that they are bolted on because this one is definitely crooked i don't know if you can tell or not but i'm fixing anything and everything that i can um i won't get this dude cleaned up but i've got a factory set of shackles i can put on this and bring it back down 
Like right now, the suckers, that's a mega gap, you know. Um, some people like that look, and if he does, it's cool, but uh, it's not really for me, you know. Um, pretty clean old car. I'm, I'm really going to enjoy working on it. I got to get that Apache knocked out first. I know I got to get some uh, Mopar stuff here for you guys. I just noticed that Champion radiator. That's pretty sweet. Uh, but when he comes and picks the car up, our old broken off antenna, uh, there's, there's several things, but what I'm doing basically now is making a parts list. I'm going to get this stuff ordered from, uh, part of it's coming from Classic Industries. The other stuff's coming from year one. And hopefully he'll have a running, driving car soon, you know? Um, my plan is he, want, he wants to drive it in the Christmas parade, so y'all, uh, you know, That'll be exciting. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a good deadline now. So if I can get it done by then, that would be awesome. Um, and I, I definitely think it's possible. This is, this is my only project after the Apache truck, except for all of my own projects. So. I appreciate y'all watching. I just wanted to give you a quick uh, going over what it's all about, and I'll give you an update soon.